When you're an entrepreneur with a great idea, it can be daunting to find funding. Startup Raven takes the process out of your hands. By helping entrepreneurs connect and learn about potential investors all in one place. Without any long filled forms or thousand questions. Sign up for early access at startupraven.com. Welcome to startuprad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome to our October 2023 wrap up with vital news from the startup scenes in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland in 30 minutes or less. Welcome to startuprate.io. Um, this time we wrap up October 23 and it's our 400th episode. Um, and uh, as you can see, I'm not in my usual New York room. This is actually my childhood living room in Manchester. Chris, you, you, you know what? I, I, I did some calculation. Hello, Joe from Frankfurt here. And it has been 3,083 days since the first publication of our first news episode together, which was way back in May 2015. Thank you for your awesome cooperation since. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, as I said, I'm in Germany today. You are in Frankfurt. Recording date is October 25th. All news not included will be part of our next news to be released on November 30th. Um, this time we made much more cuts to our news here. We hope you like, uh, like the shorter version of it. If you think we cut too much, feel free to let us know. Uh, for everyone who celebrates it, happy Halloween. Um, I think you will be trick-or-treating with your kids. Totally the boys and we say already happy thanksgiving be thankful for the people you know and as you can see for halloween i go as uh, steve jobs today i'm wearing the steve jobs <laughs> <laughs> memorial <laughs> turtle i see um uh, what are we going to talk about today let's have a look at our highlights biontech um a very special case in germany just wrote headlines recently two or three days ago because they found a very promising um Cancer, they are in very promising cancer trials uh, based on the same mRNA technology that already provided the COVID shots. Um, but they also wrote huge headlines because one of their former senior vice presidents, Katalin Kariko, uh, has been awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for her research in mRNA. Then we will look at two German companies who IPO'd Yes, no startups, but still a good sign. We will look at Solar Startup Next Wave that starts 120 million euro funding. Uh, and Black Semiconductor from Aachen is looking to raise 500 million euros. But there are also a couple of bad news about a former unicorn named Infarm. So let's talk startups. Once again, the video and audio podcast will go live on October 3rd, 26th thursday you can always tune into our radio station where you can be one of more than a hundred thousand people smarting up with our content as well as that of many media partners including but not limited to tech eu and the stanford university radio show laptop radio and you can listen to all of this at www.startup.radio you can also subscribe and find all the options to subscribe to our newsletter podcast youtube channel listen to the internet radio station at linktree slash startup radio that is linktr.ee as in estonia uh, slash startup radio Chris, you have been quite fast. Let's talk about our enablers here. This recording is supported by Hessen Trade in the West and the Enterprise Europe Network Hessen. Um, these organizations have made tremendous contributions to helping startup businesses succeed and thrive, providing a range of services from helping to find grants to ongoing partnerships by taking advantage of these resources. Startup companies can network and develop innovative strategies for success on the international stage, <laughs> including interviews from with the Startup Radio and our cooperation there. The dedicated support um, is paramount in providing startup businesses with the tools for lasting success. Looking for 
look for our dedicated sub-podcast in partnership with them called Tech Startups Germany and StartupBrave.com, the best way to identify investors and corporation partners for early stage startups. Sign up for early access at StartupBrave.com. Chris, with the title neck, you totally the top news guy. Exactly. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at it. Um, as I said, there's uh, happy and big news about BioNTech, um, basically a company that ever since they came up with the COVID vaccines are a very special case in the German startup world. Anyway, anyway, during Corona, they have been assumed to be responsible for 0.5% of the country's GDP, um, which is rather remarkable because Germany is one of the five biggest <laughs> economies in the world. But this is how big they are. And now they have another very unique distinction, a former senior vice president uh, working at their company from 13 to 2022. Uh, Katalin Kariko has been awarded the Nobel Prize in medicine for her research in mRNA, um, she's only the 13th woman to ever have won a Nobel Prize in medicine and sharing it with Drew Weissman. Um, and one of my favorite stories about her is that uh, she once was uh, kicked out of a university in the US. I think it was Philadelphia, if I recall it correctly. Hopefully I do. Uh, I didn't double check this. And when she had to leave the university, she was just looking around and telling her supervisors to leave the laboratory lab as it is. And she said, um, don't change anything here. This will be a museum one day. So maybe we can all uh, use some of the self-esteem of future Nobel Prize winners uh, in our day to day. Moving on to the solar. Actually, she, she she said in one interview that she has been demoted four times in her life. That's that's quite persistent. Ah, damn. Oh, that sounds like work for the rest of us. Uh, the uh, Freiburg, Germany-based solar startup Next, Wa Next Wave starts new funding. It's aiming for 120 million euros in venture capital at the valuation of up to 500 million euros. You can read a bit more about that in our show notes or find out more information about this. And then Aachen, Germany-based chip startup Black Semiconductor is about to close a large funding of 500 million euros with up to 70% of it being government funding. Um, founders are looking to develop a new way to connect elements on semiconductors, um, but it may still take up to seven years for the technology to become viable on an industrial scale. And as I uh, already hinted at, we have bad news about a former unicorn called Infarm. And according to a blog post by Gründerszene, the German credit bureau Kreditreform does score Infarm now as ausgefallen, meaning defaulted. Uh, local entities in the UK and Netherlands have filed for insolvency. That's it with the top news. Let's go to the nitty gritty. Let's go to the nitty gritty, all right? Housekeeping and time to brag. We have two good news where we brag just a tiny bit on Good Pods, the app totally recommended. Find the link here in our show notes. We cracked the top 100 technology scoring at number 73 in their podcast for indie podcasters. In the New York City podcast network, where a lot of people in the tri-state area are listening to us, by the way, they are now rebranding at Global or World Podcast Network. We cracked their top 10, scoring at number six. Awesome. Um, according to their own information, it is the fourth largest podcast network globally. So I think we're doing pretty good there. Bis talking a little bit about business and culture here in Germany. As always, we have some holidays coming up, but they are specific to the different states. You may remember that Germany has 16 different states and some of them celebrate October 31st as a holiday. For example, Hamburg or November 1st. Think Baden-Württemberg with Stuttgart, Bavaria with Munich or Nordrhein-Westfalen. Chris, yes. you want to take over the ecosystem again? Yes, so ecosystem, as we always do, is um, the part of our show where we talk about general news, 
influencing the wider ecosystem in Germany and in Europe. And the first no news also comes from Europe. Um, it's a statistic about VC funding um, rising in Europe in the third quarter 2023. But what was also interesting about that is that late stage startups were being favored. So maybe this will be a bigger trend to go to see if there will be um, more of that and less of that early stage development here in Europe. And then looking at Germany, we see that the economic data outlook for Germany is actually still rather grim. Uh, the GDP growth forecast, which is actually like a decline forecast right now, was lowered to a minus of 0.6%. Germany will be, is considered to be the only economy of the big industrialized Western nations where, which is actually in decline in this year. Um, And But good news is that inflation is going down and private consumption should pick up as well. And um, yeah, we will see how that goes. A large part of Germany, um, or of the German economy relies on industrial orders. But um, I mean, my impression is mm -hmm. that the um, atmosphere and outlook is still rather grim and hopes are not that high. Yeah. My, my question is a little bit, um, Germany is always very much reliant on industrial orders. Um, so not sure about how many other uh, large economies are relying that much on industrial orders, but if everybody is slowing down in growth, even some going into a recession, it is actually not surprising that the main delivery country for industrial goods there is also showing a decline, which could also explain why Germany is always a little bit behind the curve. Um, so yeah, and moving on to Germany, Switzerland and Austria, um, the number of startups filing for insolvency in Germany reached a record high. So also here we can see a bit that the news are not that great. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe it helps if we take a closer look at certain cities. So let's move on to our hub section. Taking a closer look at the hubs. Yeah, we always love to highlight some hidden gems here um, in cities of general startup interest that most people outside of Germany and maybe some people inside of Germany don't even know. We interviewed the lending platform Credit Shell for the 100 million euro investment from Goldman Sachs. Turned out the investment never arrived since another investor committed to chip in some money and they apparently, according to a press report, never did so. And now also Goldman pulled the plug and now they are in takeover talks to rescue their company. Thumbs press for them. In Mainz, again, Biontech, more good news. Their cancer treatment shows promising clinical tries. A little bit to the north, Hamburg Resourcify snaps 50 million Series A to make every company dramatically reduce its waste. And there is the nice town of Metzingen in Germany, usually known as a great spot for outlet shopping. Um, but there is much more. Do you know Neura Robotics? Early Tesla investor VC Interalpen already believes the company and invested 15 million euros. They enable robots to see and hear. Um, moving on to Austria, the uh, where we see that the crypto downturn also hits Bitpanda, a company we talked about often on our podcast. Their revenue went down by 80%. They now have reporting losses above 100 million euros. Um, and uh, yeah, the future of the company obviously remains to be seen. In Graz, we see also that the startup Ecolite got 4.6 million euros from the European Union to develop vanillin into a battery without using critical commodities. So um, we'll see how that, where that money will go. And usually we also talk a bit about Switzerland, but unfortunately this time around, no news have made the cut. We will uh, pick up here in November. That means also we can move on. Uh, we will move on to the general news, tech news, company news section. As always, a little note here. We aim to inform you about the startup world in Germany, Switzerland, and Austria, um, where small and medium enterprises and large enterprises are also active in the markets. Therefore, we also include some news of them here as well. Um, 
First off, though, some new funds in case you're looking for money. Greylock secures $1 billion for its 17th fund amid launch of early stage founders program. More about that on TechCrunch. You can have a look at that in the show notes. And the top European software investor, Dawn Capital, raises 700 million dollars they are also a bit like defying the venture capital slump and dawn capital is a uh, fund that is one of europe's biggest backers of uh, business software companies so if you're in that field maybe it's worth to look into their um their rules moving on to fintech in tech news, right, German insure tech startup GetSafe takes over the German business of French competitor Luco. The fintech Upvest now offers equity and ETF trading for customers of Raisin Bank and the Raising Platform. Keep in mind, also Unicorn, they got big with brokering um, deposits across Europe and taking advantage of different interest rates. Berlin-based insurtech startup Element Insurance wanted to raise 100 million, but Handelsblatt, a big newspaper, reports now that the funding round will be likely only half this size. I'm handing over to General News and Chris again. And the uh, General News. <clears throat> um, first off, Schott Pharma. Um, they had a pretty large IPO in Germany and it was a successful one. Um, it's which is considered to be a good sign for startups and company looking to list. Um, news was a bit all over the place um, or was everywhere. And you can find more information at Reuters, for example. And probably a, a company that many of us know from um, looking at other people's feet. And there is a successful, or there has been a successful IPO from a German company, but not a startup. Birkenstock, um, I don't know, it feels like a company that in the 70s and 80s was already done, but now they are just everywhere. Um, they priced their initial public offering of stock valuing the sandal maker at $8.6 billion. Um, first days of trade were more of a mixed bag, though we will see how the future development there goes. The German fund La Familia merges with General Catalyst. Then Snap bought the Berlin-based Fit Analytic more than two years ago for more than 120 million euro. Now they start cutting their headcount. After filing for bankruptcy, the Europe's almost Instagram platform IM, like I and then EM, was acquired by FreePick, Free PIK, and the Deutsche Umwelthilfe, the German environment, uh, German environmental NGO, won a lawsuit against HelloFresh so that HelloFresh cannot call itself climate neutral anymore, which already leads us to some parts of creative destruction. Schumpeter, your part. Yes, Schumpeter, Schöpferische Zerstörung. He was economist in the 20th century and coined the term creative destruction to make space for something new. Unfortunately, there is um, some creative destruction going on. Pure Food, the organic food startup, has to file for insolvency. Um, again, the number of startup filings for insolvency reached a new record high. We'll link this article here again. So you can have a look who is named there. And Berlin-based wealth tech startup Elinvar, E-L-I-N-V-R, has to file for insolvency. They have been famous as the first fintech investment by Goldman Sachs in Germany, but the investment bank sold all its shares back in spring 2023. Ending on a high note, successful fundraisings and exit. Lanes and Planes business travel startup raises 35 million US dollars. Berlin-based Black Lane is partnering with Six and has just secured 33.9 million in funding years again. And Munich-based medtech startup Orbem, Orbem raises 30 million euros to combine MRT and AI. Guys, it was a pleasure. We will be back uh, one week after Thanksgiving on November 30, 2023. Chris? was as always a pleasure working with you hopefully to the next 3000 days bye guys <laughs>
<laughs> bye bye. Yes. So hope to see you then. Bye bye from New York. Oh, not New York. What am I saying? <laughs> bye bye from my childhood bedroom. See you in New York the next time. Bye. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.